The ZANU PF Youth League has dismissed as unfounded claims by former youth leader Jim Kanaka that President Emerson Nangagwa agreed to hand over power to Vice President Constantino Chiwenga at the end of his first term. In a media briefing in Gweru on Tuesday, ZANU PF Youth League Secretary for Legal Affairs, Phineas Mackham, said former members who call themselves original ZANU PF youths, among them Kanaka and FEES leader Godfrey Tsenengamu, should never be taken seriously on ZANU PF matters. Mackham said that this morbid comedy of error is led by one Tsenengamu and a Jim Kanaka. With regards to the legality of their claims, I have seen it most prudent to refer to the self-same constitution that is the cornerstone of our revolutionary party. First and foremost, there is no party structure called original ZANU PF youths. These two agent provocateurs, charlatans and Cantangara's characters have not been reinstated into the party which long expelled them. Macomb also denied allegations that Nangagwa had formed parallel party structures to buttress his alleged lackist faction. He said. Furthermore, the same Chapter 1, Subsection 2, states that any organization, association, or society whose members are citizens or residents of Zimbabwe and whose aims and objectives are not inconsistent with those of the party can be members of the party. The above allows for the formation and existence of affiliates of the party. This has been the basis for the formation and continued existence of notable organizations like the War Veterans Association, the War Collaborators Association, Children of War Veterans Association etc. This has lately seen the creation of more groups such as Young Women for Ed, Men Believed and Counselors for Ed to mention but a few. To that effect, the reason why these affiliates strongly mention it is that it is where we are as a party. Last week, Kanaka held a press conference in Harare, where he claimed that Nangagwa had reneged on a power transfer deal with Uenga, which was allegedly made after the 2017 military coup.